Everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some brains. Better hurry up, just got two days. Playing games, hanging out, going closer, then we're down. Rotterdam is very lovely this time of year. Yeah, the tulips are in bloom. The microfilm is in the crust. Oh, hey, it's Tino. So, my mom's going out of town this weekend, and guess where I'm gonna stay? Carver's house. Gonna be a blast, man. Don't be so sure. Remember that one time I stayed with Tish? Stuff you expected to happen didn't, like dinner. Now is contacting of departed relatives. Stuff you didn't expect to happen did, like ghosts. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Milkins. Come on, come on. Well, I had to. The truth was so boring. Anyway, the point is, other people's families do stuff weird. Wow. Laura has a point. Where? Tino, my parents are way more strict than your mom. Are you saying you don't trust me to behave myself for two lousy days? Of course not. I'm saying... No, wait. That is what I'm saying. <gasps> I think you forgot your toothbrush. Hmm, that's gonna change the whole arrangement. Tino, I think you're old enough that I don't have to tell you how to behave at Carver's. <laughs> that's good, because I really... For instance, I don't have to remind you to say please and thank you, right? Oh, and to not put your feet up... Toothbrush! Yo, I'm here. Hey, T. <laughs> oh, Carve, this is gonna be great. Don't leave your bag on the floor. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Here's a list of everything I ever got punished for. Avoid all of this, and you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, uh. Why don't you set that stuff down, sport? Didn't want to leave bag on the floor. Yeah, remember when I did that? You made me sweep the living room. I asked you to sweep the living room because it was dirty. The bag had nothing to do with it. Whatever you say, Big D. Right you are, Big C. Sight. Nice rug. Is it imported? It's bedtime, guys. It's 10 o'clock. Yes, it is. Good night. You really go to bed at 10 on a Friday? Amazing. Dino, last time I turned on a light after 10, I had to do my homework for a week. Which you would have to do anyway.
Man, do you have a lot to learn. Rise and shine. Huh? What is it? Time to get up, Tino. It's 6.30 a.m. on Saturday morning? You're hilarious. <sighs> Tino, up. And don't forget to make your bed. Oh, what's the punishment if you don't? You gotta make your bed. Of course. Someone left the cap off the toothpaste. It wasn't me. It was Tino. <gasps> Tino. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the cap thing. I... Uh. You are trying to get me in trouble. Sorry, I was just... It's all right, Tino. That's what napkins are for. Carver, maybe you and Tino could do the dishes after breakfast. Sure thing, Mrs. Descartes. <sighs> just be glad we didn't get hit with something worse than dish duty. You know, I do dishes all the time at home. It's just something you do. Tino, are you totally unaware of the real world? It's really the Carver world I'm having trouble with. So, how weird does Carver's family do stuff? Well, they're not weird at all. It's Carver who's weird. He thinks he's in total trouble when they make him do the dishes. No way. Yes way. Are you making fun of my family, T? Of course not. He's making fun of you. I'm warning you. If you keep messing up, my dad is going to go ballistic. Ooh, what's he going to do? Make us walk the dog? Let's just pray it doesn't come to that. get that for you, sir. <laughs> when was the last time you heard a young man say, sir? I can't remember. You kids could all learn something from Tino. Tino, you're going too far. Tino, read me a story tonight. You bet I will, Toddy. Yay! At least Tino was my brother. Carver, slouching will ruin your posture. So, your mother must be very proud to have a model son like you. Yes, sir. She's thinking of renting me out for demonstrations, sir. <laughs> <laughs> demonstrations. What a clever young man. Morning, Dad. I said, good morning, Dad. Son, would you pass me the salt? <gasps> Here you go, Dad. Dad? Thanks, Big T. No sweat, Big D. Psych! Dad, why is Tino wearing my clothes? Dad! You know, Tino, you really are the perfect son. Much better than that old one we got rid of. I'm fine. But your teeth are all clenchy. I'm just exercising my jaw. These small, colorful tubers were the original potato, first grown by the Incas around 200 BC. So, please enjoy something dandy from the Andes. Trust us, that potato looks exactly like you. Nope, I don't see it. Dude, don't eat me! Mmm, I'm going back for seconds. Aw, what's 
Come on, Carver. Still worried Tino's gonna make your dad blow his top? Are you kidding? He thinks Tino's the greatest. So what's the problem? The problem is, my dad likes Tino better than he likes me. No <gasps> way! Yes way! He practically said so. Uh, we should go, Carv. Don't wanna get back too late. Great. I'm sure my dad will be so impressed you got us home on time. I'm gonna make an impression, all right. Careful, Tino. You're splashing the car. Sure. Whatever. Is that the way you sweep at home? Well, it's the way I sweep here, Pops. Are you done already? As done as I'm gonna be. I see. That's my shoe! I'm telling you, there's something wrong with that Tino. I knew he was too good to be true. I'm starting to think Carver shouldn't spend as much time with him. Mr. Descartes, could I talk to you alone? Exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Carver thinks I like you better than him? That's impossible. Well, this is Carver. When it rains, he thinks the sky is mad at him. Right. It is possible. Don't worry. I have an idea how to handle this. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Anytime. Whew. Carver. I'm proud of you for spending time with a kid who has so many obvious difficulties. What? You said he was a model son. Please. I was being nice. After all, he must have quite an inferiority complex from hanging around a real model son like you. Thanks, Dad. Hey, let's sneak some extra dessert while your mom's not looking. Whatever you say, Big D. <laughs> all right, Big C. Sight! Yeah, I know. My dad's laying it on a little thick. But it's the thought that counts. Okay, the thought and the extra dessert. Later days. <laughs> <laughs>